Here we're going to look at some of the basics of hydroponics. We see a great image here showing some plants being grown hydroponically, but this is not the only way uh, plants can be grown for it still to be counted as or classified as hydroponics. So first off, hydroponics is the science of growing plants without soil. A lot of people think hydroponics means purely grown in water, but that's not necessarily the case because this can include rockwell coconut fiber, clay pebbles, and others that do not contain a high mineral-based content. All of these would still be classified technically as hydroponics. The addition of these uh, or more traditional aerated water conditions are also classified as hydroponic. So think of like if you're growing plants in water or some form of aerated water, that is hydroponics, and that's typically what's associated when someone says hydroponics. But keep in mind rockwell coconut fiber and clay pebbles can also be classified as hydroponics simply because they give very little minerals to the plant. Now hydroponic production allows growers to have near complete control over nutrient uptake. We can see this row of tomatoes grown in the greenhouse. They are grown in Rockwell, but again this is classified as hydroponics. And part of the reason why is this allows for uh, higher yields than soil production. However, growers also can in incorrectly feed the plant which can reduce overall yields. So because you can control everything that plant is getting with the exact nutrient solutions, the exact concentrations, that's great. Uh, we have great control, but with that comes great responsibility. So with great control comes great responsibility, and this is where you can maximize yields, but the grower can also sadly mess things up if they're not careful. The advantages, as I said, efficient production per plant. You could see very little area being uh, used here, ideally getting high yields. The grower has control over the nutrients. As a result, can yield uh, better than soil production. It's also very clean and sterile uh, to try to eliminate or reduce the chance of getting disease. However, the disadvantages are it can be expensive to initially set up, can have a more complex setup and arrangement, it does require time and technical knowledge, uh, some cost to ideally have good quality, you need to have continual monitoring of the operation, and it's not as forgiving as soil production. Uh, so again, a little bit more dialed in, uh, can add nutrients very quickly, but can also go nutrient deficient as well. Uh, limitations for hydroponic is burning the roots and nutrient uptake. you got to watch that pH. You want to make sure you're not overfeeding the plants either. You want to ensure nutrient solutions are well mixed before adding them to plants. And want to keep the root zone area oxygenated. Keep in mind the roots, no matter how small or large, do need an oxygen source because they are respiring uh, and taking in that oxygen, breaking down those sugars so that they can grow. So keeping that pH of that water correct and keeping that aeration are very important things with any hydroponic production.